What is up everyone? Welcome back to the LFC Transfer Room YouTube channel. My name is Chris Stonage and today not only have I got some new spectacles, we're going to be reacting to John Henry's stupid apology to the fans. Well, I'm going to reserve judgment on it, okay? I'm going to reserve judgment. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, three, two, one. Have you subscribed? I've just counted from three, two, one for no reason. But anyway, let's get into it. Right, so here we have John W. Henry in his, uh, I mean, it's a bit of a dodgy little jacket going on. Jacket and checkered combo. Um, but, but we may as well just get into it. Um, yeah, let's, let's, go, let's go with it. I want to apologize to all the fan supporters of Liverpool Football Club for the disruption I caused over the past 48 hours. Goes without saying, but should be said, that the project put forward was never going to stand without the support of the fans. <laughs> Why did you do it? Why did you do it behind everyone's back? It's so stupid. I don't understand. You say, the project will not go ahead without the support of the fans. But it literally was going to. And if it wasn't for the fans, it would have done, It would have happened. Like Just because the fact we're not in there, John, doesn't mean that it, it would happen. No one ever thought differently in England. Over these 48 hours, you were very clear that it would not stand. We heard you. I heard you. And I want to apologize to Jurgen, to Billy, to the players, and to everyone who worked so hard at LFC to make our fans proud. They have absolutely no responsibility. So he's recording this, okay, and he's apologizing to the people who work for him. He should be setting an example here. He should have been going out and saying, we're not going to be involved in this. But it's all about the money, John, isn't it? For this disruption. They were the most disrupted, and unfairly so. This is what hurts most. They love your club and work to make you proud every single day. I know... Your club, by the way. Your club. The entire LFC team has the expertise, leadership, and passion necessary to rebuild trust and help us move forward. How, how do you suggest that FSG rebuild trust? And let us know in the comments, because loads of people saying, oh, if we go out and sign Mbappe or Haaland, they're, 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 uh, that doesn't rebuild the trust for me. It's not about that. I couldn't care less who we sign in the summer. Like, they need to do some serious groveling. They are in the doghouse for Liverpool Football Club, and I don't think they'll get out of it unless they do something ridiculously good. More than a decade ago, we when we signed up for the challenges associated with football, we dreamed of what you dreamed of, and, and we've worked hard to improve your club. Our work isn't done, and I hope you'll understand that even when we make mistakes, we're trying to work in your club's best interests. What can be denied, okay, and a lot of people will go overboard on the FSG out stuff, they have improved the club off the field, def uh, 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 no, on the field, and off the field, sorry. So, you've got you know, the training center, you, we've got the new stand, we've got... But when they've made mistakes, they've made serious mistakes. £77 tickets, um, the trademarking of Liverpool. How is that in the best interests? It's in the best interests of your pocket, John. In this endeavor, I've let you down. Again, I'm sorry, and I alone am responsible for the unnecessary negativity brought forward over the past couple of days. It's something... I won't forget. He's not alone. And what I will say is that it's also down to the other clubs, like Florentino Perez, Scum of the Earth, people like that. And shows the power the fans have today and will rightly continue to have. If there's one thing this horrible pandemic has clearly shown, it's how crucial fans are to our sport and to every. Actually, it's actually done the complete opposite. Liverpool Football Club will still make money without fans especially at the elite level. So I think the pandemic has shown how football can work without him. And that's like as a puppeteer plaything for people like John and Florentino Perez. Every sport. It's shown in every empty stadium. It's been an incredibly tough year for all of us. Virtually 
no one unaffected. It's important that the Liverpool football family remain intact, vital, and committed <laughs> to what we've seen from you globally, with <laughs> local gestures of kindness and support. I can promise you okay, I'll John. do whatever I can to further that. Thank you, John, mate. Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah, cheers, pal. No worries. Uh, <laughs> it makes me laugh, all of this PR stunting stuff. Like, he doesn't care. He doesn't need to pretend to care. It's sort of a, I'm sorry I've been caught notion. Um, but yeah, that's enough of me writing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the transfer room because we care about you here. Um, just because we've got all of these stuff. Like, if, if any of this has affected you, let me know. Let all of us know because it's, it was really, really tough for the last few days um, for all of us. So yeah, speak to you next time.